Welcome to the second part of the assembly of my SD Flight circuit boards. Uh, so in the last part, uh, we got some of the basic components assembled, uh, and in this part we are uh, finishing up the uh, interconnects between uh, the different components. So um, we're going to be putting on the GPS, we're going to be putting on the SD card slot, uh, we're also going to be putting on the different logic level conversions that need to happen to make these uh, parts work together. Uh, so here you can see uh, we, we've put on the uh, the USB port. Uh, the USB port isn't actually transferring any data back and forth. It's just uh, charging the device. Um, and we've just put on the JST header for the uh, battery and uh, soldered on the battery to the end of that connector. Here we are putting on the 3.3-volt uh, uh, voltage regulators. You'll see in the, in the, uh, the second part on this series... Uh, a, capa a capacitor problem that I ran into. I, I uh, kind of picked an arbitrary value for those capacitors. You can see on the schematic there the C1. Um, that's uh, that's the capacitor that I ended up switching out um, because it, it was the wrong value. Uh, it was just an arbitrary value that I picked and I never actually researched into it. So uh, the ones that I'm putting on here aren't actually the ones that I'm sticking with. Um, so moving on, I'm putting on the different decoupling capacitors that'll keep uh, any noise away from particular uh, components like the GPS, for example. Um, it generally isn't going to be a big deal. Uh, like if you're just wiring up your Arduino and you know you're just doing general stuff, it's not going to be a big deal. Uh, it is common practice to decouple those sorts of things so to reduce noise. So that's that's what I'm doing. So here I'm starting on the logic level conversion stuff. Uh, so the SD card and GPS, they, they both run on 3.3 volts versus the Arduino, which is running on 5 volts. Um, so they they need uh, different pull-up and pull-down resistors and different uh, different things to make sure that, uh, one, we don't damage the 3.3 uh, the volt components, but also so that the, uh, the signal can make its way back to the 5 volt components and uh, not cause problems. So here's some diodes that we're putting in here. These aren't really what diodes I would put in a production run. Uh, these these are just through-hole diodes that I happen to have laying around. Um, when I ordered my parts, I didn't know that this was a thing I was going to need, so I, I just used, instead of doing a second part order, I just used what I had. Um, here we've got the uh, GPS unit that's going into place. This is the uh, the ultimate GPS module from Adafruit.com. Um, you can see it's got a bunch of pins along the sides. I thought that this was going to be one of the easiest components to install. It was actually quite tricky. The Those little hoof-shaped uh, solder pads in there, they, they hold quite a bit of solder, and it's a little bit tricky to stop them from bridging back and forth. Um, here goes in the SD card. Um, this one, I, th I thought that there was going to be about as many problems as I did have, because you can see I have to kind of jam the, the soldering iron through uh, the, that little open gap to, to get to the pins. Um, it's not really meant for... Uh, for hand soldering, but it, it is possible, and you can see it, it is in place. Here I'm just testing all the connections because it's such a tricky part. I want to make sure that everything's in correctly. So uh, now we're pretty much finished. We're, we're just putting on some, uh, some filter caps for the power supply stuff. Um, very shortly going to be done with this, uh, and then moving on to just some cleaning up and some stuff. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, continue watching. We'll, we'll be uh, doing some more stuff in a future video.